coming off an 87 point performance. Lopez, handoff on first down and a big stop right out of the gate. Kentra Bullock, the running back and a gain of one. Tackled by Kyle Arnold. And coach, both of these teams really want to get the defenses started quickly tonight because that hadn't been the case for the first couple of games. Absolutely. Lopez, the keeper. Lopez with space. He can do that. He's got it in that game. Look at Gio Lopez. Can't bring him down. They run the counter read right here. Those are explosive. But these defenses are going to have to find an answer. They both struggled early in the year. And again, a 50 for Lopez. There comes the tempo. And again, a completion to Jamal Pritchett. He's their all-everything receiver. He's small. He's quick. He's exciting. And again, a three. So already a fast-paced start as we take a look at our impact. And Santana Hopper, we expect to make all kinds of plays coming in here. He was a freshman All-American last season. The Lopez, he looks good on this first drive, finds Jeremiah Webb. A gain of 10. So you've had a gain of 50, you had a gain of 10. They talked about getting those explosive plays against this App State defense, and they've done so. When anytime you're on the road and you look at this, the, you know, when this place gets rocking, student section going crazy, the best thing you can do as a road team coming in is put a successful drive together on offense to start the game. So first and goal now for USA. Lopez, quick shot outside. App State, good job recognizing it. That was Webb. And a Barian Cole on the tackle after a gain of one. And if you want to stop the quick bubble. Second, Lopez, play fake to the end zone. Touchdown. That is the Ole Miss transfer, DJ Thomas Jones. And what a statement at a USA on their first drive. Three minutes and one second. How about that for Major Applewhite's play? And that's the type of drive you come in. You, you put up all those points last week, and now you come in. Now you're playing a smaller school. Is that going to carry over? Looks like it might. We expected a lot of schedule play. Don't worry about the score. Let's battle it out. And they rallied and came back. And you know this team knows how to win championships. They'll be here for four quarters so tonight. Kel Haywood at the three. Haywood. Across the 20, and you have one good quarterback on the other side, and here at Apple, and all the wide receivers they have, it's hard not to throw the football. Talk about the foundation of App State trying to take a shot first play. There's Aguilar checking it down to Anderson Castle, the local kid Harry told you about in the open in a gain of six. And that's the experience when you have an, a, a veteran quarterback like Aguilar. It's been in. You call a shot play to start a game, not there, just check it down, get the yards, play the next play. You know, it's funny, Sean Clark, head coach, he's an offensive lineman, played here at App State. He's, he laughs at it. He's like, I want to run the ball. And we look at him like, man, you got a good quarterback and some receivers. So second and four. Aguilar, quick shot outside. That's Makai Jackson. And that'll be a first down for Appalachian State. When you talk about receivers, they have three receivers that have over 1,000 yards receiving in their college careers. That's a pretty impressive group because you, you can't take one of them away because they can go to a different weapon, whatever the defense is giving you. Castle tries to cut up the middle, nothing doing there. Jaguars defense and a loss of one. But that's kind of been it for them this year. The run has not been as productive as App State would like, and they've had to go to the air. They've done so successfully. But you know, tonight, they want to establish something up front. Absolutely. But, you know, as a coach, you're saying, I really want to really run and run the ball. But when you throw it as well as they do, sometimes you got to put that aside and just say, hey, let's throw it early to set up the run late. Good play there by Blaine Myrick. Aguilar to throw again, swings it out. Castle's been active on this first drive, trying to make a man miss. And that is a good open field tackle by Jordan Scruggs. After Castle was only able to get.
Keep an eye on number two, Caden Robinson, lining up in the slot. He's by all accounts their best receiver. And that is incomplete to Castle. And a young South Alabama defense who struggled in the early part of the season, they force a punt out of App State. And doing a great job getting pressure. You're seeing Aguilar is having to check the ball down. Well, he's getting pressure and not able to get through the reads down the field, getting to his check down quick. It's Akil Washington getting pressure up in his face and making him get rid of that ball before he wants to. So Pritchett, he returned to punt a week ago. He's electric, he's back to receive the punt. And that is Connor Maynard. Pritchett back at the 20. Made the first half state. Defenders miss, takes it out to the 40. That's a punter. Going. It's everybody. God bless college and Appalachian State. Second drive, Gio Lopez. Early movements. Official tonight, Marshall Lewis. That was Malachi Carney, the right tackle. Is that crowd getting involved early right now? You know, this great looking student body. It'll take some time for mudslides to make some noise to make it harder on this South Alabama offense. Uh, she's wearing white. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Fluff Boffwell now, the true freshman in the backfield, had a big week a week ago. The fake. Lopez. Time. Looked at Bothwell. Goes back to him. Incomplete. Tried to get Bothwell when he moved out of the pocket. Lived to play another day there. Dave Rose. Coaching staff said he sees the entire field well. Second and 15. That's Bothwell. And a gain of one brought down by Brendan Herring. Now it's a true freshman, Asher Hale, in at right tackle. Lopez. Flag. And that's to Devin Voison, the intended receiver. Go Grab and pull for the first down. So a penalty bails out. South Alabama now just on the other side of midfield. There goes Fluff Bothwell. He's a talented, true freshman. And Bothwell, a big week a week ago, seven carries, 143 yards, and two touchdowns. He gets them for 20. In the 5'10", 220, you see his. The USA second consecutive drive deep into App State territory. Lopez pressured. Lopez to the end zone incomplete he had Trent Thomas three yards fluff up the middle touchdown South Alabama There was an untouched. I'm shocked at the movement the South Alabama line is getting on the defensive front from App State. Six plays, 60 yards. You he was doing some extra him. PR. You bailed on him. <laughs> Amani Marshall the back now. Aguilar, quick shot to the outside. They get a punt on their first possession. That was Christian Horn. The receiver they like to call old reliable and a gain of six. But you come out, we, we look at App State, we know they want to establish a run, but when, when South Alabama's moving the ball up and down on the field on you, you don't have that patience or that time to do it. you got to get to what you do well and throw the football. App State, slow start, 65 nothing in the first quarter of play in the last three games. There's a run up the middle. Talking to Sean Clark prior to the game. And I said, look, we talked about how important it was to get off to a quick start. Sean Clark said, man, based on how we started, it's everything. Harry? 
it is everything, Matt, but it has not gotten up to the start that they thought. The defense came over after that last possession. A lot of ten. Now third and one. Aguilar hands it to Marshall. There's a crease. And Amani Marshall's going to move the chains on the ground. Maybe most importantly, Jaden Voison, brother of Devin Voison, tackles him after 12. And, and a great Wake Forest. Aguilar play fake. Looks left, throws left. Long throw to Christian Horn. And again, Horn having a big start to the game. That'll be a first down brought down by Blaine Myrick and Wesley Miller. That's 14. That was a great throw off the, the, the vertical read. As we understand it, Joey Cool does not lack in confidence. It's Cannon Hamlet in motion. That's Marshall again kicking it outside. And Blaine Myrick again after three. Well, I know there's tension, as Harry said, on the sidelines, because they want to perform and they want it. They've talked to her before, and it was a week ago. But key drive for App State because it gives that defense a little bit of rest after South Alabama's moved the ball right up and down the field. Castle back in. He hasn't been able to find any of those creases. That's a gain of one. Check that Marshall. This is going to be a big third down right now, Matt, because if you want to have the patience trying to run the football and establish the run, you have to convert on third downs to stay on the field. And I'm sure they've already made the decision. Sean Clark's made the decision at this point of the field. You have two downs potentially to get it here on a, on a, a third and seven call. So Castle now in the backfield. Third and seven. Aguilar swings it out to Castle, and Castle just drops it. Perhaps led him a little bit too much, but the, get your hands on it. You got to help your quarterback out there, and they're going to send out the punting unit again. Yeah, and that was one of those. Like we said, you had, you had two downs, possibly get it, but you get zero yards. We'll have plenty more chances. They said nothing phases him, Aguilar. Sometimes to the chagrin of the coaching staff, that was close to a South Alabama player. Connor Maynard, the punt of 30. Hell is peanut butter and fluff. Oh, okay. I'll let social media take care of Matt on that Fine. One. What do you put it on Wonder Bread? What is your problem? Now you're going to anti Wonder Bread. <laughs> Up the middle, I think it was Kentrell Bullock. And a gain of three. Bullock in the backfield, second and seven. Quick pop over the middle. And the offensive play calling to this point has been good. Shamar Sandgren, that was a quick play fake and a quick decision by Gia Lopez. Yeah, a, a quick RPO. And, but one of the keys to an RPO is the decision making the quarterback and the release of the quarterback. You see how quick Gio Lopez's release is from the time he pulled that ball till it's out of his hands. Mountaineers force a stop of this high-flying offense. Lopez rolls to his left, eyes downfield. Devin Voison wearing number five tonight, normally number one, picks up six. And you see the offensive coordinator, Rob Izzell, for, for South Alabama. When you get into a play he's right now, keeping App State's defense on their toes. The number five jersey for South Alabama in honor of a fallen teammate back in 2010. And they give it to a senior every week up the middle, and that's going to be another first down Jags. And Coach, App State just cannot make a stop. Yep. Alabama offense. Averaging just under 14 yards a run. I throw it. Lopez. Boy, is he quick with his release. That was voicing again. Ethan Johnson on the coverage. Hang with Tua a little bit this summer. Realized how big he is. He's, he's a lot bigger and taller than people think he is. Second and four. 
Lopez off his mark, hit as he was getting ready to throw, and App State recovers. That is Sean Collins on the recovery, and it'll be interesting to see when we take another look at this, if it is in fact a fumble. The quarterback, not the arm. And a much needed turnover for App State. Aguilar gonna take the shot up the play fake. Up the middle, and it's incomplete. No flag. That was intent. Let's see. There is no fall for substitution breaking the huddle with 12 men. First charge timeout, Appalachian State. This will be a 30 second timeout. All right, so a little end of quarter chaos here at the Rock. The Appalachian State uses their first of three timeouts. Our Saturday ABC. College football triple header, number 21, Clemson. Big test for both teams to see where they're at. There's, both have looked, Tennessee's looked great, everything they've done this year, whether it's offense, defense. Oklahoma started fast the last couple day, games and then kind of slowed down and finished at the end. It's going to be an exciting game in Norman. I, I think after this weekend, people will be talking Tennessee as a legitimate playoff team. I, they're playing defense. I think they're that good. So second and 10, out of the timeout, eight seconds left first quarter. Aguilar to throw, dumps it over the middle. As a receiver, first down, App State, Kanye Roberts out of the backfield. Gavin Forsha brings him down.